Hi, my name's Alan. This is part of the EETT grant we received for middle school. Um, I'm talking today about Digo, which is D-I-I-G-O. It's a free website. It's a web 2.0 tool. It's a social bookmarking site. So, you know, as a teacher, one of the limitations that we have is that we typically can't let students write in books, even though we might have written in books and highlighted and, and done all kinds of things while we were in in college, you know, we don't have the resources to be able to have our kids write in textbooks because we've got to use them again next year. Um, knowing the breadth of information and, and all the resources that are on the internet now, um, a lot of us have projectors in which we can show the internet in our rooms. Uh, Digo kind of makes all that a tool in which we can promote the kind of active and critical reading that we know to be best for our young readers. So, you know, if you're looking for something to work on reading and writing in your room and, and you have an internet connection, this Digo may be for you. First thing to keep in mind, Digo.com is actually blocked by our district. What you want to do to get to Digo is that you want to write www.digo.com, but you want to put backslash education. Now, once you go to that site, you'll see something like this. And you want to sign up for an educator account. So this is the kind of account I have. And one of the nice things about an educator account is that you have a teacher console, which allows you to, to mass import student names. You have an unlimited amount of students that you can add, and they don't have to have an email address for you to create an account for them. And it works with, you know, a comma delimited file. So you can take a report out of... Um, Genesis or out of your grading software and or an Excel file and it will automatically import the students you probably want to change the password just to make them consistent um, you know I make them all the mascot of our school so what it looks like if you you know go to a website and you want to use this in class all you have to do is turn on a deglet, as it's called, and suddenly you have, you know, highlights and bookmarks and sticky note functions. So if I wanted to, you know, I thought the first instruction here, so this is just an instruction manual on how to make yourself battery last longer. I want to just highlight this part. All I have to do is click on it and then highlight and sticky note, highlight and sticky note, and I can write a note about it. So this is the first part. Instructions. Notice the transition. So then if I want to share this with my entire class, I can find a period that I belong to, hit post, and all of a sudden all that information is stored and recorded on the website. So all I'd have to do is go to Digo, my groups, go to that same period, period block one, the stuff that I just did, this is the first part of instructions, is suddenly saved in there. And, you know, it allows kids to now comment on them. They can like or dislike them. But, um, you know, it gives a way of sharing information and recording it that they could use later for writing. So uh, other uses that there might be for Digo, um, for a poem per se. Let's turn on our Deglet. I've already looked through this poem. And so now I've already asked these questions that I want students to respond to within the poem. So, you know, when they s click on this, they see the same thing and they, you know, if they have computers in front of them, they can go through and ask the same questions about the text. You know, a third use is in terms of research. You know, what we see with a lot of students that we work with is that um, they're not, you know, they're used to Googling things, but they don't always think about what it is they're Googling. So let's say, you know, they were looking at similes. We want them to go find a simile on the internet. They can go out, turn on their deglet, and, you know, record all the similes for their group. You know, we use the kind of tags at the bottom. You know, this is personification. This is imagery. Um, and then they can kind of click on the ones that are in their group and what their subjects are. And then they come back and kind of, kind of comment on them either in school or at home if they have internet access and they can um, you know use it to kind of have an interaction or jigsaw something and share it out with the entire group and so that's kind of a third function to go so the way they get started you know to get that diglet that gives you that ability the first thing you would want to do is hit tools and then you go to diglet and then it gives you kind of tools on how to do it so it says right click on diglet you do that add to favorites do you want to continue? Yes. You want to add it. Um, put yes. 
And then, you know, if I went under my favorites, there it is. And every time I click on this, I put it on the favorites bar. And so I can, I have it anytime I need it really quickly. Anytime I want to turn it on, I just click on it. And suddenly I'm in. Everything is now a text that I can highlight, bookmark, sticky note, and bring it back. You know, that's the whole idea is that you're, you're gathering something from and, and bringing it back into a school community within your groups. You can, you can set it up by your different periods. Um, and then each group has access to that information, you know, up until, you know, they're done. So that is Digo in a nutshell. Hopefully you'll find it useful. Um, the other way, you know, you'd have to get started is once you get Digo education, you want to sign up for the teacher upgrade. So if you were to go to digo.com education, apply, you know, sign in, create an account, and then apply for your educator upgrade. They just want to see that your, your, uh, the email that you used is a school email. Um, they confirm that what school you're at. And, you know, usually um, within 24 to 48 hours, you have an account. Um, you want to check, double check your spam mail that it doesn't get sent to your spam. Um, but, you know, you should then have an account and be ready to go. Okay, that's Digo. Thanks for listening.